flipped over the footage to this game one day to edit it, and I was like, how the heck did I miss doing this ring attack hole? I completely missed doing Starlight Star Bright, so let's get to it. There's a whopping 15 rings here. Yes, you heard me, 15. Uh, the execution to this hole is probably one of the hardest, if not the hardest, because you have to aim for many of these pipes around here, like this pipe that I just hit into here, like that, will take me all the way up here, yeah, and then you gotta aim somewhere else, which is not towards the green, by the way, that's a great way to get on the screen in two, by the way, is if you aim for the green like that, I mean, aim for the pipe like that, uh, then you gotta aim for this one right here, just gotta make sure your shot is high enough, and go for it. Oh, shoot, I hope that's enough power. I hope the wind's gonna take it far enough. I think it will. Come on, baby. Yes! I got all three. Actually, technically six, since I automatically get three as I go through a ring. And this one, this one's pretty dang hard right here. Um, you gotta get it, like, low enough that it um, goes through all the rings but doesn't clip the tree. This, this one is just so annoying, and this one has really ruined my chances many, many times here, uh, to get to the hole. Um, hold on a sec, I gotta get this just right. I don't wanna screw this up, because this is going surprisingly well. Come on, baby! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! And that is the final ring shot hole. That went surprisingly well. I actually got this on my first try. I can't believe it. I can two putt for the victory, which is never going to be, because I one putt from that distance all the time. Look at me, I'm a happy dinosaur. I flutter jump and I give fist pumps. Yeah. And that's it for the ring attack holes. But what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be going to the side games. Um... I'm going to be using Koopa Troopa this time around for the heck of it, and the side games are right here. Now, I'm not going to be doing the birdie challenge or the one-on-one -on -one putt, because all they are are the, um, uh, the Congo Canopy course. Like, if I choose that, then you can either choose to do 18 holes, the front, the back, uh, you know, 9 holes. Um, but what happens is that you have to birdie each hole, and I already showed you how to get through this course before. So I'll leave this one up to you, because there's really no point in showing this course again, since I'm basically just playing the course again. There's no difference to how I played it before in this side game than it is on the regular game. Um, the one-on-one -on -one putt is just like the birdie challenge, except your first shot has to go on the green. It can't land on the fringe or in the rough to uh, um, get birdies on the hole. So it makes it a little bit harder than the birdie challenge. Actually, a lot harder. Um, but it's basically the same as the birdie challenge. And to unlock Congo Canopy, you have to do the birdie challenge on both the front and back nine. And then to unlock the one-on-one -on -one putt, you have to do all 18 holes of the uh, birdie challenge. But right now, I'm going to be doing the uh, shot practice here. Tee shot, second shot, and trouble shot. Uh, just This is just to start things off here. And the object is to get eight or more of the next ten shots inside the red circle. Now you take a look at this here. There's the red circle here. This doesn't look too hard to do, right? Well, some of these are actually pretty hard. And that's what I'm here to do. Uh, this to uh, help you guys out with this. And I overshot that by a ton. Dang it! Um, and then they, then they change the position of it. By the way, I would like to make a note that this hole right here that you're looking at is actually a unique hold for uh, this side games thing. It's like a practice course, so to speak. As you can see, they got pins out in the middle of the fairway. It, it's actually a pretty cool area to mess around in. Uh, just to, like, take a look around. Uh, I don't know if you can actually play this this hole, like, normally, other than in practice mode. Oh, so close! That was so close to being outside the hole. Uh, I should say outside the red ring. Next one, blink. let's see if it'll stay in, I think it'll stay in, it should stay in, I think it'll maybe be up, I, I think so, yeah. <laughs> um, you should also be playing the hills of the fairway to ensure that your ball stays where you want it to, and also spin the ball if you need to, if you need to, it's not, ne it's not a necessity, um, just spin it if you think you over hit or something like that, or uh, under hit, just top spin it, it it's nothing really 
that hard, but it, it will be hard later on. You'll see what I mean. Uh, I think this might be an overhit, but that would only be two outside the circle so far. Oh, oh I got it in. Oh, oh, oh. All right, next one. This one's going to be perfect. Uh, it's a little bit off on the impact area, as you can see there, but that doesn't matter very much with Koopa there. Oh, beautiful. I have got it in the hole before. Uh, they don't seem to really acknowledge um, if you get it in the hole or not. They just simply say great. It, they don't seem like, oh, hole in one, or oh, oh, hole in, or something like that, you know. At least I don't remember them doing that, but I don't, I don't think they did. <laughs> Driver for the win. As you can see, these shots are pretty far away from uh, where you're hitting to. So it's, it's like hitting onto a small green sometimes. But this green has a fairway kind of texture, so keep that in mind too. Um, of course, because it is the fairway. And also look out for those fast fairway portions, the bluish green portions, like the ones you see off the left side there. And that is a complete do a Cooper dance! Yeah! Shot practice clear! Well, that was just for the drives. The next one will be the approach practice, if I'm not mistaken. They take me back to the main menu. What a ripoff! <laughs> um, shot practice. Second shot. Yup. This would be the approach shots. And next ten shots inside the red circle. Otherwise, I'll be cutting this out or something. I don't know. Or I'll be cutting to my uh, failure, as I usually do. I like that style of editing. It's kind of funny. <laughs> and so it comes in for a landing. And it's short, so I gotta restart. No! Start game over. Let's do it to it. I gotta stop using that expression. I always use that once in my Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles walk through with Knuckles. Wait a second, this looks good. Yeah. It's actually not that hard to get inside the red ring. I'm just playing like a doofus. <laughs> I don't know, it just happens some days. Oh, shoot! That was just mistimed on my part, but I think it'll be just fine. Yeah, it will be. Yay! The, the harder ones are the longer shots into that circle, uh, and the ones with higher wind, but usually that won't be a problem if you're hitting a short shot with wind, uh, because the ball stops pretty quickly on short shots because of the loft of the club. Um, er, like this is a short shot. It's got short shorts. Wait a second. And I'm not going to spin this whatsoever and just let it roll down to the hole. Just like so. Boink, boink, boink. Yeah. See how, see how quickly it stops? You always want to play your ball so it, like, like lands in front of the circle or just in the front of the circle. Um, that way it'll roll up the hole. Yeah! Um, that also makes it a lot easier to, uh, so you don't overshoot your shot like I've been doing a few times because I've been playing like a doofus. But, uh, not really much secret to this, I guess. Um, just keep practicing until you get it, I guess. There we go, six out of six. That is delightful. A lot better than the first time around. And also, uh, increase your loft every once in a while on the bottom right corner there. See the impact area next to Toad's head there? Yeah. Uh, make it go higher so it doesn't roll as far. Oh, it's gonna be short, but it doesn't really matter because I already beat this hole. I'll just say beat this challenge. And back to Thank you, announcer guy. It does, I can actually hit... Well, I technically I didn't beat this just yet. Um, but because I got so many in a row, I, I might as well have beat it already, so... That, that, that's what I mean by that, so excuse my other expression there. And... Whoa! I like that shot. I like that one a lot. And this one is going to go right next to the hole. I can feel it. Actually, it probably won't, but it will be inside the ring. And this is the tenth shot, so this is the end of the minigame. Yay. I am a happy Koopa. 